everybody and welcome on back to another glorious video here on the Special Beetle channel and tonight we're going to be doing a movie review of Lego Batman or the Lego Batman movie so yeah this is one of the movies I got for Christmas uh near the end of last year uh this was actually one of the movies that I showed you guys in my uh 2021 uh, channel update video a few I would guess it was like a few weeks back but uh anyway uh so anyway this movie was actually surprisingly really good I at first I didn't really have high hopes for it because it was a Lego version of Batman and I didn't know how well Lego Batman would really turn out since the Lego version of Batman would be getting his first solo film after being part of two Lego movies. I, I just didn't know how that would play out, but honestly, I was surprised that it actually worked out. The storyline was really good. The The characters were really well developed. Uh, they made a lot of past references to, uh, the respectable, um, movies that came before it, like, uh, Batman v Superman, uh, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Returns, Batman Begins, uh, or The Dark Knight. Uh, Batman Begins, um, uh, the Batman TV series back in 1966, uh, the 1997 Batman film, Batman Forever, um, Batman and Robin, so they made a lot of, uh, proper, well, I guess like little minor references to some of the past movies. Um, it was funny, it was, it had a lot of references from different Lego, uh, sets, like it did with the Lego Movie and Lego Movie 2, so that was interesting, because we got or, I mean, the extra uh, characters included uh, the Gremlins, uh, Voldemort, uh, the Wicked Witch, uh, a Velociraptor from Jurassic Park, uh, Sauron from, I would guess, like, Lord of the Rings. Uh, pretty much any other baddies that you can think of. It did reference the, uh, it did make a few references to, uh, I'm trying to think of all the re oh yeah it made a reference to Marvel and it made a couple other uh, film references I think but I think most of them were like Batman related with the past Batman films and all that but the story was really good it was funny at some parts it was um it had some action. The action wasn't too... The action sequences weren't too bad. The voice actors did a good job. Pre pretty much all the way around, it was an actual decent movie. There wasn't really that much I didn't like about it, to be honest. Um, it was fun, it was comical, it was...
And like I said, it did reference the Phantom Zone. Uh... Because we did get a uh, few appearances from the other Justice League characters. Like Flash and uh, Aquaman. Superman, Green Lantern, etc, etc. Just to name a few. Um, so we got to see all the... And we also got to see all the Bat vehicles and all that. So I would definitely recommend this movie as a definite pick up for your kids for your for yourself if you're a huge lego collector this would be the movie for you uh if you're a huge lego collector or if you're just a main superhero fan in general like i am um this would definitely be a good movie for you to pick up either on blu-ray or just regular dvd but in my case, I actually got it for Christmas from Santa in my stocking, so I didn't really have to buy it, so. Uh, anyway, here's the, here's the case, here's the front cover of it. It's got Robin, Batgirl, Joker, and Batman. And it says the Lego Batman movie, obviously. And here's the bio if you want to try and pause the video and read that. I don't know if you can, but I'll try to zoom it in as close as I can to let you guys try and read the bio. So there's that. Um, and as for the disc, um, the disc has got a little bit of a design on it, but it's not really that interesting all it is is just black with a silver outline of batman and the lego batman logo on the on the disc and of course there's a little pass for like lego land and stuff if i cared about that which i don't so uh like i said the voice acting was good the soundtrack for some of the songs, which actually I've got one of the songs um, from the Lego Batman movie uh, on my uh, uh, Music Gone Crazy playlist. So I'll probably, I don't know if I'll leave a link in the description box. For that one but or if I'll leave a link for my uh, music lyrics gone crazy playlist if you want to check that out to see what kind of songs I'm into and try to find that a uh, certain song it's called uh, friends or family and it's like really catchy because honestly, whenever I get that song stuck in my head, it, like, it sticks. Because usually for me, if I end up having to listen to mute, or if I get a song, a certain song stuck in my head, I have to listen to it, like, maybe once or twice just to get it out of my head. So, yeah, anyway. Um, I think that about covers it so yeah like i said this would definitely be a good uh movie for you guys or for people to pick up for your kids if they're into legos or for you if you're a superhero fanatic like yours truly but uh anyway um yeah that's gonna wrap up this video guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe for more and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm out.